Alrighty, hey there guys, Andrew Kazi here, aka Jennifer 95 coming at you guys with another video. So today guys, we've got two players for the gameplay that are going to be done post-commentary today, I'm sorry. I would like to do this live com, but I didn't, I just completely forgot to do Tuesday's one because I was just so exhausted. And then Wednesday's, I did ended up live streaming with, you know, with the two cards. Uh, so first off, we got Noah Fant for the offense. We got one on both sides of the ball, so we got Noah Fant. For the Seahawks name team, 86 speed, 83 short route running, 78 mid route running. Not a bad tight end. Let me just say, not a bad tight end. I like the fact that he's pretty big with a nice, uh, with some good legs with 6'4 and 86 speed. I think that's pretty sweet overall. Uh, in terms of a route running though, I do wish he was a small bit better, especially in the short route running aspect where he only has 83. I wish they could have bumped that up another two, but who knows? What they could have done. Well, who knows if that would have made any difference. Uh, but 85 catching is still pretty solid for a tight end. You know, I, I kind of like that quite a bit. And if you're wondering why he has 91 agility, uh, it is because of the fact that I do actually have the legitimate legs strategy item equipped. So it does get plus five agility and it also has plus five spin move and plus five kick power, if I'm not mistaken. But it only goes to great iron guardian players, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, overall, but I do think Noah Fant is a pretty solid tight end, and I do think that he is a good card to play with um, for the Seahawks team team. And then the other card we have is Trey Brown. Now, Trey Brown, definitely a card that I was excited for for Team of the Week. And to be completely honest, he played good. Like, I don't think he played really, really that bad. I have fi been finding myself manning up a lot of my slot receivers and whatnot to protect the seams, and especially in cover three. Uh, with my base defense because a lot of people just like to attack the scenes when they see those type of things uh, And so therefore obviously having that, you know That 89 man coverage is going to be very very helpful for that because you know Having good man coverage as a nickel corner, you know when you're manning up a lot of people it's definitely gonna help out But 91 speed 90 excel 85 agility really really good stats now the couple of problems I have with this card um, First one is the fact that they only gave him 83 zone coverage 81 zone coverage i actually have a strat item that actually increases my cornerbacks zone coverage by two um so only gave him 81 zone coverage which is kind of stupid i would have liked to have seen this being an 83 zone coverage and maybe an 86 man coverage you know balance out his man and zone a little bit better overall but i do think that this card is still pretty fine in a man coverage scheme um, and then the second, and then the other reason is the fact that he is five foot ten. Now I really can't control that because that's just who, how he is. Um, but however, with Madden making the game very, very height oriented in a lot of places, um, you know, it, it does kind of suck that he is five foot ten. Now I will say the height isn't as big of a deal as people make like to make it out to be, um, but it definitely can be a problem in certain situations, which is why I'm playing him at nickel corner. Uh, for my defense so that is it for the Noah Br for Noah Fant and Trey Brown uh, in terms of hit Trey Brown's abilities he can get pick artists for 2 AP um, but because of the lack of the zone coverage he doesn't get any good KOs like flat zone and mid zone KO shit of that nature so with that being said though guys I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the game all right as we get into the game guys my top three is going to be Sherman Bobby Wagner and Trey Brown and for my opponents it actually ends up being Robert Griffin Eric Berry and Jalen Watson I believe that is I believe this is I, I don't I don't, don't want to assume this was like a commanders or like not commanders a Chiefs theme team or at least part of it uh so first play we're just gonna you know give the ball to Kane I guess why not and um about that we actually break this for 73 yards Something like that. Yeah, 73 yards, give or take. Uh, yeah, so great way to start the game and set the tone early. And that actually ends up being a good omen for the entire game right here. We get a nice good hit there for Cam Chancellor to make it to a second and three. Uh, so then we go into a, that second and three play, as forementioned. Uh, this actually counted as a run play because the ball was actually thrown backwards, I believe. Because it had to have been, because that's how that works in those type of situations. I'm sorry if I bumped the table, but there my mistake. Right here, he goes to the seam real quick. I couldn't get my adjustment to man up that specific player. I think that was Kadarius Tony. So we do give up a new set of downs so on third and eight. You know, he does get a nice, uh, like get a little bit sticky with it, and actually does make it to the 13 yard line. Yeah, give or take. I'm a little bit tired, guys. If you can't tell in my voice, I'm still a little tired. I woke up maybe about an hour ago. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it definitely is not necessarily the greatest of times for me at this moment because, you know, the baby's been keeping me up 
uh, and whatnot, and shit, well, keeping both of us up, I should say, because, you know, Hulk, my wife's got to deal with it uh, as well, so. Uh, but after that uh, sack, that actually ends up with a nine-yard loss. He actually does just settle for three points, and we actually go back on offense. So first play of that drive, we go down, we hit nice full out to Will Disley, getting about six yards. Uh, so second and four, we got an incompletion. So third and four coming up, we just get the flat to Noah Fant right away, get it out of bounds. Uh, Noah Fant was a big player in this game, actually. That's why I'm kind of glad that I actually ended up using this specific game, because he actually had a lot of catches. I think he had like eight, nine catches for like a hundred some odd yards almost. So yeah, he absolutely went crazy. So I'm kind of happy to see that. So uh, after that play, so we got second and seven after a three-yard run. So we go to J J uh, Jerry Rice. Yep, they go to Jerry Rice underneath. Uh, get about get to the first to goal and uh, well, take it away, me. I try to. I totally meant to do that. I meant that. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I totally meant to do that. That was the plan the entire time. Yeah, you can see how, you can definitely see how, like, nonchalantly I totally meant to do that, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Shh. But anyways, so kickoff of that, after that touchdown, we're actually getting, it actually gets a good return here. I, you know, gets a really, really, really good return again, guys. I'm, I'm really tired today. I'm, I'm really, consider, I almost considered canceling stream, but I'm not going to cancel stream today. Which, by the way, uh, we saw a trade round get that tackle there. So, like, literally the next play. That's the reason I showcased that, because the next play, Tariq Woolen gets the interception on that. And I said on live stream, I actually give credit to Trey Brown for that, because he was the one who saved that touchdown. So that's Trey Brown. I count that for Trey Brown for his thing. But uh, other than that, though, guys, as I was saying, we will be live today um, for live stream on Twitch. I think I should be live at the time of this video going out because, quite frankly, I am getting behind on my scheduling and whatnot for work and for the stuff. So, yeah, we will be live today with the first gameplay of the Rams theme team. Oh, voice crack there. We'll be live today for the first gameplay of the, well, the Los Angeles Rams theme team. So, if you guys are interested in that, link in the description to the Twitch. Come on over, say hello, go drop a follow, yada, 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 all that fun stuff. Uh, so, yeah, two-minute warning. We're just going to run the ball here, get to his first and ten. I don't know why I decided to run the ball here, I think. Oh, yeah, because I had two timeouts to work with, whatever. Uh, it's first and ten. We go to Noah Fan on the mesh concept. Go get a nice 12-yard gain, so we'll get out of bounds. We're playing really, really well. Nine for ten with, you know, zero with, like, one touchdown and zero interceptions right here. Try to get a nice spin, but that angle that the, that defender took actually was a pretty good angle. So, yeah, it is pretty insane that I couldn't get that spin off. But right here, back to K9 underneath. You know, get another good yardage gain there and actually get to about the 20-yard line. So now we're in the red zone. Uh, you guys know how... The red zone offenses can be sometimes. Definitely got to get a little bit more creative in the red zone here with my play calls and whatnot. And especially with what it is I'm trying to accomplish. Because obviously I would like to get seven before the um, before the um, end of the half. Again, I'm just, I'm out of it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, get, a ball, get the ball to K9. I do have one timeout to spare. I'm holding that just in case I do decide to kick a field goal. Uh, we actually call a screen pass to K9, and he actually does waltz in. So, no need to use that timeout, guys. We actually do end up getting a touchdown with um, with uh, K9 to end the quarter. And then, obviously, you know, skip writing ahead to the second half. I got stuck on, on Jadavion Clowney. He throws this ball up, but Richard Sherman's right there to pick that off. And Cam Chancellor is there to make sure, doubly sure, that um, there is a dead body on the field. You can see me laughing my ass off because Cam just absolutely murdered another human being again. I don't know what it is with Cam Chancellor, but every now and then he, he just provides the funniest, you know, his cards provide the funniest moments, um, I've seen on a, in a Madden game with this, the, with this team because like, I think it was like last year, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I was in Madden 23 with his old Madden card. You see right here, we get another good game with K9. Uh, where he actually, we were running back a fumble with, um, Bobby Wagner, and Cam Chancellor just decides to say fuck it, and just, like, completely decapitates, I think it was Josh Allen? It was one of the first few TikToks I ever uploaded, 
uh, onto the tech, onto onto the platform. Which, by the way, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, we do have a TikTok in the for the uh, for the highlights for the streams and whatnot. Links to those that as well is in the description as well. If you guys want to go check out the TikToks, go say hello. You know, go check out the new one because we actually I actually did upload a new TikTok a couple of hours ago. Uh, so again, another force ball here after manning up the seed. Sherman's right there to pick this one off as well. Gets a second pick and actually takes this one back for seven, which is a nice, you know, little insurance policy type of deal, I guess. I don't really know where I'm going with this again. Uh, so yeah, 31 to three. This game, I'm, I'm going to skip forward like towards the end here, guys, because this game was not very close uh, after like at this point. It was just throwing whatever. Uh, shit of that nature, so Yeah, there's a few more clips. I'm gonna showcase maybe I get like one more touchdown here I'm not remember. I don't remember for certain but again k9 underneath it, it really just baffles me sometimes You know when I'm playing this game and people see what is not working for them And yet they still just don't change it just it's just so weird But after that end of the court end of the quarter going to the fourth, you know, you know get a nice bootleg action to Will Disley and he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. So yay! Uh, I believe that was the final score of the game was 38 to three. As you see, yeah, right there. Uh, he did not play very well. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Like I sat here, like completely flabbergasted that he just didn't quit after a little bit. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. We'll take that for the gameplay, guys. So if you guys did like this video, I want to see more. Uh, Seahawks theme team gameplay hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new uh, first that Rams theme team gameplay I probably will do um, Like on the YouTube I'll probably have the first Rams theme team gameplay out for you guys when we actually get a card for it Because I want to get back into doing it live commentaries rather than post commentaries with the team But if you guys want to see the actual like first ever gameplay that I have with the Rams theme team uh, Again, we're over on twitch today link in the description check it out below, but otherwise guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out Peace.